fast food pit stops, we're gonna go check out the new Arby's Hawaiian King Fish Deluxe Sandwich. I just heard that it just came to my local Arby's. It's a limited time uh, sandwich that they're offering. So I'm gonna go check it out. head in and check it out. Also, this is a limited time and uh, limited availability menu item. I did call ahead here and make sure that they had it and they did say that they do have it. So it just came out and uh, let's see what we got. Hi, welcome to Arby's. I'm sorry about that. Wait, what can I make you today? Hey, can I get the new uh, King's Hawaiian fish sandwich combo, please? Small, medium, or large? Uh, a medium size with the curly fries and a diet Pepsi to drink. That's it. Would you like to try one of our turn, one of our milkshakes today? No, that's okay. Three dollars your change will be right up. All right, thank you. Check out that shirt. We'll work for bacon. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go ahead and dig right into this here. Let's take a look at what we got, and for the price, we got the. Uh, King's Hawaiian fish sandwich with a medium drink, fries, diet, and uh, the total was $7.57. We got our pearly fries. Pull these out a little bit. Take a look. If you've never had an Arby's pearly fry before, um, they're they're pretty good. They're seasoned uh, and they're real crispy. The King's Hawaiian Fish Deluxe it says, big news. On the King's Hawaiian Fish Deluxe, we've got tartar sauce, shredded lettuce, tomatoes, cheddar cheese, crispy fish filet, and a King's Hawaiian bun. The new King's Hawaiian Fish Deluxe from Arby's. And uh, we'll go ahead and unwrap here. Uh, looks like, oh uh, yeah, they got all sorts of little graphics on here. Take a look here. It says, brace yourself. What happens when you take a I can't read backwards. What happens when you take Alaska Pollock and infuse some Aloha? <laughs> Sail away with ocean meat. This is what we got here, straight from the wrapper. Let's see if it looks a little bit like uh, the one that they advertise. Probably not too similar, um, but it looks okay. Let's take a look here. Now it says on here that there is uh, lettuce, tartar sauce, tomatoes, and of course you have your uh, fish filet, and uh, looks like some cheddar cheese, and all wrapped onto a King's Hawaiian roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a bite here, and let's take a, take a first impression of, of what we get out of it. Okay, right off the bat, definitely a distinct uh, fish flavor, not in a not in a repulsive way, but I made the mistake of I think in the first part of the video before I got to Arby's, saying that the uh, fish fillet was probably the same one that they use in their uh, other uh, fish sandwich, a real big fish sandwich I think they had uh, last summer, and it was like a two for five deal. It's not real crispy. It's not uh, like the the really uh, better fillet that they had in their other fish sandwiches. It's okay. Mm. Let's take a closer image here. It's a pretty big sandwich. I'd say uh, if you're used to like a Burger King Whopper size, it's a pretty big bun. Pretty robust. It's nice. The whole point of this channel is that we're doing fast food pit stops. So, it's not always going to include fast food. There's going to be uh, prepared foods, things we go to the store, to the market for, um, different restaurants. I live in North Carolina, so North Carolina is full of barbecue places, for instance. We have a lot of regional foods here. And so I personally am a food lover. Um, I like to talk food, I like to cook food, and I like to taste food. So this is an okay sandwich. Would I get it again? Probably not. The, the fish is a little bit of a different 
texture that I'm used to. It's pretty good. It's a meaty fish. It's real thick and it's flaky. On a rating scale of one to 10, one being the lowest, 10 being the highest, I'm gonna put the scale up right here. I would probably put this uh, probably right around a five. It's, it's middle of the road food fare. It's nothing to you know, write home about. I think it's okay. I wouldn't get it again. I would much rather highly recommend their other uh, big fish sandwich. I think it's the real big fish sandwich. I don't even know if they have that anymore. I don't think they do. I didn't see it on the board. I will say, I'm gonna take another bite. And I'm gonna call this a day. Honestly, I don't even think horsey sauce would fix it. Anyway, thanks for checking out. This has been Fast Food Pit Stops. Okay, Alan, I'm gonna finish the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs>